There is only one woman in the world who can speak Kusunda. Kusunda is a tribal language from West Nepal. Academics are rushing to record this unique language before it disappears. An Asia calling went to meet the last Kusunda speaker in the Dung district, around 300 kilometers from the capital Kathmandu. Kulmohar is a tiny village in Dang district. It's close to a small river with only a handful of houses there. Gyani Maya Sen lives here. She's a 75-year-old tribal Kusunda woman. She says her name, age, and she explains that she works in the rice fields, takes care of her grandchildren, and spends time in the forest. But no one understands her. The language is characteristic of the surroundings that the Kusundas lived in. For example, they don't have a word for green because tribes people consider it to be a default color. She now lives in a village but she feels at home in the forest. Jani Maya and her family had to leave the forest because they were losing their habitat due to deforestation. Now, some members of the tribe live in and around Kulmoha village. The Central Bureau of Statistics says that only about 100 Kusundas remain. But only Gyani Maya can speak the language fluently. Even her son, Prem Bahadur, doesn't speak the language at all. He adds that there's also a stigma attached to the Kusunda people. This stops him from learning the language. अभी तो इतना वो नहीं करते पहले तो ऐसे करते थे जब कुसुंडा मेरी मम्मी है वो भी तो बहुत गुस्से होती थी जब कोई कि कुसुंडा बोले तो But Professor Madhav Prasad Pokhrel finds it important to save the language He's a retired lecturer at the linguistic department in Kathmandu Sribhuvan University he has been conducting research on Kusunda language for two years. Kusunda is an interesting language. It is because it is a language isolate. It is a language isolate. Language isolate means this language is not related to any language of the world. It is reported that in the language in the world there may be about twenty different languages, and all the languages can be are analyzed to have. Mm, and the, the, the no, 20 family trees. But Kushanda makes a uh, 21st tree, means uh, that is a language isolate. It's not related to any other language. Linguists and tribal campaigners are now demanding that the government introduce specific programs to uplift the Kusunda people and protect the language. But for the moment, Professor Pokhrel needs a group of researchers to restore the language. Researchers have been recording her speech for over three months now. They are preparing a Kusunda dictionary based on the recordings. It now has nearly a thousand words. Professor Pokhril explains why he's taking these efforts. When the language is dying, for the, the, the whole, first of all, the, the human heritage that is being lost. Because Kusunda, every language, bears a particular culture. So the culture, if the language dies, the culture also follows. That is one of the thing. Another thing is, every language may have its own technology. It may have its own, own worldview. That worldview we cannot perceive. So with the language, that worldview also goes. So, uh, besides, if the language dies, 
So the, the since language is one of the par, it is a part of the human culture. So if the language dies, then one part of a very important part of the culture also goes. And without a language, it is not easy to give identity to any ethnic group. Gyani Meya's granddaughter is now able to name different parts of her face in Kusunda language. She even asks us to come back again to learn the language. And that's all for this edition of Asia Calling, your window on Asia. For more stories from our correspondents around the region, visit our website at portalkbr.com. I'm Rebecca Hinschke. Goodbye for now.